Now that you installed your ProCharger Supercharger system, it's time to fire this thing up for the first time. But first, you're gonna need to load a tune into the PCM or ECM. Thankfully, the engineers of ProCharger made that a lot easier these days. You're just gonna need a laptop, a piece of software, and an email address. And then it doesn't matter whether you got a GM, a Ford, a Dodge, or a Toyota. So follow along as we give you some tips and tricks on how you can get this knocked out in no time. All right, let's dig into the box and see what we got. We got a lanyard. You're not going to use this for tuning, although it's cool. We got our dongle or USB flash drive here, and that's full of the software that we're going to need. We got our OBD2 port device, USB cable to connect said device, and then we got a quick start instruction guide. Now, the thing is, most of this information is not going to matter to you because here at ProCharger, we've already done most of these steps for you. We've already got this thing loaded full of credits ready to rock and roll on your platform. So this can go back in the box and let's get started putting the flash drive into the computer. Dots go down, kids. We're going to stick this thing into our laptop and we're going to wait for the prompt so we can install the RTD software. Now that the prompt popped up, we're going to click on RTD Flasher. This is going to begin the installation process. We're going to click Next. We're going to go ahead and read these uh, every single word on here. I know everybody does. Actually, we're just going to click Next. We're going to click Next and Install. Let it do its thing. And we're going to click Finish. Okay. Now, we can go ahead and close this. Get ready, because here comes the next part. That's where we're gonna take our flash device. We're gonna plug it into the other USB port. Then we're gonna go up here and open the RTD flasher software that we just installed. Now that it's open, we're gonna go up to the help menu. We're gonna click on resync interface. Now, before I go any further, I want you all to make sure you have to have the internet while you're doing this. Again, must be connected to the internet or this will not work. Now that this process is done, we've got the green arrow, we're ready to read the information from our vehicle. So let's go out to the truck. Now that we're out at the vehicle, there's a couple things I want to tell you first. Number one, once you have the doors open, probably should keep them open. Don't roll up and down the windows. Make sure the radio's off. And if it's an older vehicle, have a battery charger on it because we don't want any voltage fluctuations when we start tuning. So grab your device, find the OBD2 port, and get her plugged on in. After the reading is done, you're going to get prompted to save the file. I always just save mine on my desktop because that's the easiest place to put it and find it. You want to label that file stock because you don't want to lose this forever because that is the one that always goes back in your vehicle. Now, once you have that stock file, you're going to open up your email browser and you're going to send that to tuning at procharger.com. Now, in the subject line, you have to put the serial number to your blower. That way the guys back in the office know what that file goes to. So again, attach your file stock, put the subject line as your serial number, and send that to tuning at procharger.com. Now that that emails into the ProCharger tuning department, it usually takes about four to 24 hours to get that file turned around to make the changes. Once they got it done, they're gonna email you back and that file will be labeled ProCharger. Take that file out of your email, probably put it on your desktop or a folder, that way you know where it's at. Jump back to your software, and you're gonna go ahead and click on the open folder icon. And then you click on Pro Charger, click open. Now that the file's done compiling and getting ready to load, you'll notice the red arrow has lit up and that is the right to vehicle button. So we're gonna go ahead and click that red button and then we're gonna go down here and click right. And that's it, she's gonna go through her file transfer. You're gonna to have to cycle the key a few times and you are done. You have loaded your supercharged tune and you are ready to enjoy all of that ProCharger boost. Lastly, before we go, we're just gonna do a quick recap. It's such a simple process. Grab yourself a laptop, 
Take your USB stick, slam it in there, download the software, then you're gonna plug in your RTD device, resync the device so that they talk to each other, go out to your vehicle, use that green button to download your stock tune, then send that in an email to tuning at ProCharger.com with your blower serial number, wait for it to come back, take that ProCharger file, open up your software, click the red button, write it to the vehicle. That's it, super simple. If you have any questions, reach out to us at any time. Well, that concludes the Blockbuster film on how tuning a ProCharger system is easy with this little device, a laptop, and an email. Again, if you have any questions on how to tune your Toyota, your Ford, or your GM, just reach out to us and we'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching.